if you're 403 pounds, you have a lot of extra calories on you that your body needs to consume. Oh, oh, oh. I have been doing intermittent fasting for a while now. And since switching to whole foods, I no longer experience hunger. I eat at supper because I eat at supper time because it's time to eat in my eating window and not because I'm hungry. I try to force myself to have some fruit or nuts after supper just to up my calorie count. Should I be forcing myself to eat extra food even though my body is not giving me any hunger cues? I calculated my BMR to see how many calories I should be eating to lose weight at a healthy rate. And with my size and activity level, my calorie intake is like over 3,000, even if I calculate it as if I was completely sedentary. I am 403 pounds, lift four times a week, and hike the days I'm not lifting. With the food I am eating and my lack of hunger, I am struggling to get up to 1,500 to 2,000 calories. Is there a minimum calorie intake to be healthy? I do not want to fuck myself up by losing too fast and crashing out. Do I have to force myself to eat more or just keep eating what I'm eating and listen to my hunger cues? So um, drop your comments down below. I need to read through this a little bit again. When I read them, it's one thing to read it. It's one thing for me to comprehend it. So I kind of have to like look over it again. So let's look over some of the key points here. So intermittent fasting. So keep that in mind. I eat at supper because it's time to eat in my eating window, not because I'm hungry. So you're already eating because it's time to eat. Uh, let's see here. You switch to whole foods, which is good. So you don't feel hungry anymore. I have some things that, how, how long has this been? I wonder, I, I wish I had knew. I wish I knew. Uh, I wish I knew what your, like, you know, what the, the time frame since you switched. But let me see here. I try to force myself to have some fruit or nuts. So in other words, you're eating whole foods. You're not feeling hungry. So what you might be doing, you might not be eating or giving yourself enough time to consume calories that you need over the course. Maybe your time restricted eating window is too short. Uh, let's see here. I calculate my BMR and with my size and activity level, my calorie intake is like over 3000. Okay. So you're eating too much. So why should, if you're, if you're 403 pounds and you're trying to lose weight, so you're trying to lose weight, you shouldn't be eating 3000 calories. With the food I am eating and my lack of hunger, I am struggling to get up to. Is there oh, is there a minimum calorie intake? I mean, you'll read some places. You'll read that fifteen hundred is the minimum. Two thousand is totally fine for you. Two thousand. I mean, at four hundred pounds, two thousand. You're going to lose. You might lose fast, but I mean, you have a lot to lose. So you can always go to twenty five. If you're losing too fast, you can always up the calories. But it's calorie deficit that's going to help you lose the weight, especially with whole food consumption. That's good. I mean, this is good. This is a good sign. Uh, Troy, this is a good sign because if you're, if you're losing weight or you're, you're not feeling as hungry, here's the thing, just so you, just for context, when you change what you're consuming, if all of a sudden, let's say you're eating a lot of junk food that processes quickly, that's in and out of your system really fast. You're getting those like insulin spikes, you're getting those hunger crashes and you just like, you know, you're chronically tired or inflamed and your body is always chronically hungry or you're drinking a lot of soda, drinking a lot of calories the physical presence of all that solid food in your stomach now because you changed the actual substance of what you're eating is going to make you mechanically, like physically feel full because of the, the weight in your stomach. So that is a big reason because you're eating different foods. This is what you just said. You just said you switched to whole foods. I don't, I'm assuming you were drinking a lot of soda. That's a common way for people to put on a lot of weight and get to 400. Um, yeah, hit that smash, smash that like button. If you're watching, hit that like button. Really, when you, when you come into the podcast, it really makes a huge difference. If you hit the like button, please, it really does. It, it gets a lot more reach when everyone hits the like button, it distributes it to a lot more people, uh, for the live stream. So take a moment, hit that like button. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so I would be, I would be, I'll be reaching for, if you're lifting four times a week and you hiking the days, you're not lifting, I would say 2000 calories easy. 2,000, 2,250 might be fine. 2,000 is fine. I mean, 1,500 might be enough, but you might be not getting enough for your energy expenditure. So 2,000 should be fine. I'm, I'm curious as to the details that aren't here. I'm curious as to what your eating window is because it might be too small. It might be too small. Um, I mean, you shouldn't be eating over 3,000 calories. You're 403, you have a lot. If you're 403 pounds, you have a lot of extra calories on you that your body needs to consume. 
And when it comes to your hunger cues, reminder that your hunger cues are fucked up. If you're 403 pounds, you don't have proper hunger cues because you've been eating. If you just started eating real food, I mean, your hunger cues are inaccurate. You're actually getting some nutrient substance for the first time in your life, potentially. Yeah. Topic, my melanin is yeah. popping. I'm taking skeletons on closets and making new deposits. I'm yeah. in my element. No Ollie's, you children popping.